Hi, my name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made Tinkerbell's wings. So I wasn't planning on this being a sewing project uh, because I was going to just uh, melt the edges of the fabric around the fabric or the metal frames, but that didn't really work. So I ended up sewing the fabric to the frame similar to how you would sew buckram to uh, millinery wire. So I guess with that, let's get sewing. Todd and I have a ton of piano wire in our supply closet. Um, Todd had them originally because he used it to make himself some chain mail years ago. So to make wings, I used piano wire for the outer structures and for the inner structures of each of the wing pieces. And here you can see that I'm just bending a piece of wire to the appropriate shape and um, getting it in place. And then I used florist's wire on each piece to hold it in place and then to position it more correctly if I needed to. The nice thing about working with the piano wire is that even though it's thin, it holds a bend really well and it also doesn't bend further. It's really uh, rigid and inflexible so the weight of the wings doesn't cause the piano wire to change shape. So this is what the upper wing piece looks like and here you can see I'm just gently bending the wire in place before I uh, connect the two pieces using florist's wire. And the reason I'm connecting them on the middle of each side was so that I didn't have a connection at the point at either the top of the wing or the bottom of the wing because I knew that would be a stress point. So I wanted the connections between the pieces of wires to be on the straightest stretch possible. Once I got the outer shape of each wing formed, then I went ahead and added the pieces for the inner shapes, uh, which ended up being the bracing pieces that held the wing in place. I used a Sharpie to mark where I needed to bend the wires. And uh, then I just used pliers in my hands and nippers to bend them into the shape that I wanted. The florist wire worked really, really well for attaching the piano wire to itself, um, especially because it was easy to get up through tight spaces and manipulate it into a really tight coil around the piano wire. And I apologize, this video is going to be a little bit repetitive because the entire process of making these wings is basically just a whole bunch of wire wrapping and wire bending. So if it does get a little bit repetitive, I apologize. After I had all of the shapes made, it was time to add the fabric. And I had a layer of uh, iridescent organza, the same organza I used for the trim on the gown, and a layer of sparkly tulle. And so each wing section has four layers of fabric, two of each piece, one above and one below. And then I used the same technique that you use when you're attaching millinery wire to a hat form, and I just zigzag stitched the fabric to each of the wing pieces. I think if I remember correctly, I only actually broke four needles doing this this time and it was usually on these really wide sections of wire that I broke the needles. Once the fabric is attached, I used Todd's heat knife to cut the edges of the fabric away, and that served two purposes. Uh, first, it got rid of the excess fabric, but then the heat knife also sealed the edges of the fabric so that they wouldn't fray. I wasn't able to get the fabric to adhere to each 
piece. Um, I was trying to originally adhere the pieces to one another, um, but I couldn't quite get that to work. Uh, so this process worked uh, well enough instead of having to finish those edges. Problem is I didn't have an outlet or an extension cord very close, so I had a really short leash on the heat knife when I was using it. You can't really tell in these pictures, but I was very careful to make sure that the fan was running in the sewing room and when it was possible, I had the door open too, just because I wasn't positive how toxic these fumes might be. Um, and even though I didn't wear a respirator or a mask or anything like that, I, I was really careful to make sure that the air circulated really well and frequently. Once I had the fabric cut off of all of the pieces, it was time to match up the bottom wing piece to the top wing piece and once again used florist's wire to attach those together. I don't have a lot of footage of me attaching the wings to the actual frame that attaches to my dress uh, because my photo shoot got moved today, it, which worked out better for me, but it gave me less time to finish the wings. So um, what I did to attach it to that frame was once again just twist a whole bunch of florist wire uh, from the wings around the frame that I built and tried to secure them as tightly as possible by winding the wires back through the fabric and around the frame multiple times. So this is what Tinkerbell's wings ended up looking like. They look good and the pictures from the photo shoot look good, but they're a disaster. Um, I did not build the structure to hold them very well and they kept slipping around and they also kept flopping open to the sides. I tried to solve that by threading a piece of thread between the two upper wings to maybe hold them in position, but that didn't work either. I'm gonna sit on the floor so I can get close enough to show you where things were messed up. This is that string that I talked about. Um, we ended up kind of cutting it loose during the photo shoot so that we could just position the wings and hold them in place with a stick. Um, and here you'll see I didn't put anything onto this end piece to keep the wings from sliding off. Luckily we found a workaround during the photo shoot, but it was really a pain. This piece here slid down between the bodice of my dress and my stays. So you couldn't tell that I was wearing them unless you got up close and actually saw the structure. So I'm going to remake these and figure out how to make the structure so one, they don't slip off, but also so that the wings are held in this position. We'll see how that goes. But as you can tell, the structure inside and the fabric worked perfectly. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. And they show up really well in the pictures. As I said in the intro, I hadn't planned on this being a sewing project, but I ended up having to sew around the edges of the fabric to get it to stay on the frame. And also I couldn't quite get the fabric to melt together and bead like I originally planned. So I talked about redoing the wings in the intro and I'm going to have to do that. Right now they're held up here by friction. Normally this centerpiece here would go between my gown and my stays and it would be held in place at the top by these curves. The idea was that the wings would sit like this, but I didn't take physics into 
account and so the wings sat like that. So my first like solution was to put a piece of string between them like, let's see if I can hold them, like this, hoping that they would stay in position. But then all they did was flop one way or the other depending on where the wind was blowing or the movements I made or anything else. So what I need to do is put some sort of structure attached to this but under the wing that holds the wing out in this position. The other fix I need to do is, um, as you can see, these wings will just slide right off the bottom of this. We managed to fix it uh, temporarily during the photo shoot, but it's definitely not a permanent fix and they're not going to stay. Um, in the process of the photo shoot, Todd ended up taking a curved stick and shoving it behind my back to hold the wings in place for each picture. Um, that did damage the fabric a little bit, so I'm going to have to replace the fabric. Luckily, the frame of each wing is still intact and is still really sturdy and in good shape. So really, the only thing I need to do is remake the frame and this, this frame here not the individual wing frames and then attach some sort of support structure to hold the wings out and to keep them from sliding off the bottom. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of a sneak peek at some of the pictures from my photo shoot. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content from me please subscribe. If you hit the little bell YouTube will let you know every time I upload. Thanks for watching. Thank you.